Tiger is hosting the Mets, and the Mets are minus 140 on the money line. The Tigers are plus 118. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Mets, laying a run and a half, are plus 118 on the run line, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. And the Tigers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, you win. Now, earlier this morning, it was Scherzer. Now they've changed it to Lucheski. I honestly think it's going to probably change again because the Mets are playing a doubleheader today against the Braves and they're in the second game right now. So God only knows because I hate when they do doubleheaders like this, especially for the matchups for the following day. Neither Scherzer or Lucchesi pitched against the Tigers last year, so just food for thought. And Lorenzen was with the Angels last year. He did pitch against the Mets. Six innings, one run, one earned, and they won that game 11-6. to six. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The Tigers are 7-3 and three against the Mets in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is 9-1 and one on the money line. And the favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The Mets have won the last two games that these teams have played against each other. There have been five one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including... Uh, the last three games that they played against each other, which was the last series that they played against each other way back in 2019, the under is 6-3-1, and one, and the under 8.5 runs is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The first game that they played, the Tigers won 9-8. The game before that, the Mets won 5-4. And the game before that, the Mets won 4-3. Like I said, these teams have changed dramatically since 2019, but it's just food for thought. Now, I can't entirely be accurate with the Mets because they're playing the second game of their doubleheader right now. But as of right now, the Mets are four and six in their last 10. They have not been playing very well and the Braves just own them. Now we've had five runs, 17 runs, four runs and 17 runs. This is including only the first game of their doubleheader today. One run and a loss, nine runs and a win, no runs and a loss and eight runs in a loss. Now for the Tigers, they are one and four in their last five and three and seven in their last 10. We've had 11 runs, 11 runs, 10 runs, and eight runs, four runs and a loss, seven runs and a win, four runs and a loss, three runs and a loss. This is like a real catch 22 to me because I think three games in two days is going to wear on the Mets players. I understand that Lucchesi has a lower ERA than Lorenzen, but Lorenzen did play for the Angels and not to be disrespectful to the Angels. They really haven't been all that good and they managed to beat the Mets. I think that because the Mets will be tired, the Tigers win this game because they're home and they have the day off. I'm going to take the Tigers with the money line, the Tigers laying the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet response.